We're so pleased to have you here, Sir Richard. Lady Grant's welcome. Thank you. I hope the train wasn't too tiring. Hello, Mayor. Uh, not a bit, no. I got a lot done. Hello, Aunt Rosamond. Brother, dear. How are you? Lovely to see you, Rosamond. He's nice, isn't he? But Sir Richard, you don't have Richard, to... Richard, please. You see, I want you to marry me. Why? Because I think very highly of you. Very highly? Goodness. I mean it. I think we do well together. We could be a good team. Now that sounds better. But I can't help thinking that tradition demands a little mention of love. Oh, I can talk about love and moon and June and all the rest of it if you wish. But we're more than that. We're strong and sharp. And we can build something worth having you and I, if you'll let us. Your proposal is improving by leaps and bounds. You must give me some time, but I promise to think about it properly. I'm counting on it. Who is she going to sell it to? She didn't say, just that there was nothing we could do to stop her. Mr Bates has given her every last penny to keep her quiet. But she's tricked him. And now he's got nothing left to bargain with. Well, we both know what I must do. Who'd have thought it? The cold and careful Lady Mary Crawley. Well, we know better now. I'm surprised you haven't given me some extenuating circumstances. I have none. I was foolish, and I was paid out for my folly. And when I've saved you, if I can, do you still expect me to marry you, knowing this? That's not for me to say. Of course, we both know that if we marry, people, your people, will think you've conferred a great blessing on me. My house will welcome the finest in the land. My children will carry noble blood in their veins. But that won't be the whole story, will it? Not anymore. Sir Richard, if you think it pains me to ask this favour, you'd be right. But I have no choice if I am not to be an object of ridicule and pity. If you wish to break off our understanding, I'll accept your decision. After all, it's never been announced. We may dissolve it with the minimum of discomfort. Forgive me, I don't mean to offend you. I'm simply paying you the compliment of being honest. No, in many ways, if I can manage to bring it off, this will mean we come to the marriage on slightly more equal terms. I think that pleases me. Suppose he doesn't want her back. Have you thought of that? He needs someone to look out for him. Yes, but... And you'll be too busy with our new life, won't you? Look, I know you're used to having your own way. Yes, I am. And I'll say something now I hope I won't have to repeat. If you think you can jilt me, or in some way set me aside, I tell you now, you have given me the power to destroy you. And don't think I won't use it. I want to be a good husband and for you to be happy, but don't ever cross me, do you understand? Never. Absolutely never. Why did you try to bribe Anna? She told you, did she? She didn't, not me. But why did you do it? Next time, if you want to know anything, just ask me. Well done. Very well done. All right, then I will. Once and for all, are you still in love with Matthew Crawley? Of course not. Would I ever admit to loving a man who preferred someone else over me? Well, that's the horn. Where's the damn loader? Looking for your damn peg, I imagine. Why were you laughing with Matthew at the end of the first drive? 
I suppose he said something funny. Am I never to be free of him? Of course not. You know how families like ours work. And he'll be head of it one day. I might understand if you let me think for a solitary minute that you preferred my company to his. I have tried, Mary. Give me that. I've done everything I can to please you. You mean you bought a large and rather vulgar house? God, talk to me like that. What have I done to deserve it? What? Get married in the spring or the summer. I am only asking to set a date. But what's the hurry? Hurry? Glaciers are fast compared to you on this, Mary. I, I warn you, even my patience has its limits. My God, Mary, what more could I have done? Nothing. But you must see we're not well suited. We'd never be happy. You won't be happy by the time I'm finished, I promise you that. Of course, I'm grateful. So you should be. I buy your filthy scandal. I keep it safe from prying eyes. And why did the papers leave you alone over Bates? Why has there been nothing linking to the great Earl of Grantham? I suppose you stopped it. With threats, bribes, calling in favours, yes, I stopped it. Papa will be so thankful. You don't think it holds now, do you? You don't think I'll save you or him for one more day? And you wonder why we wouldn't make each other happy. Mary, you're quite all right. Oh, here he is. The man who can smile and smile and be a villain. Is she not to be trusted even to get rid of me without your help? I heard shouting. Lavinia knew it, you know. She knew you never loved her. Don't you dare. She said it once. It was late and she was tired. You two were locked together in the corner of the room and she said, if he could just admit the truth, then all four of us might have a chance. And liar. I'm not a liar. No, I am many things, but not that. She regretted it, of course, but she said it. You bastard. Stop this at once! Oh. I presume you will be leaving in the morning, Sir Richard. What time should I order your car? How smooth you are. What a model of manners and elegance. I wonder if you'll be quite so serene when the papers are full of your eldest daughter's exploits. I shall do my best. Oh, what on earth's the matter? I'm leaving in the morning, Lady Grantham. I doubt we'll meet again. Do you promise? Wait. After last night's exhibition, I rather hope to escape unobserved. I didn't want you to go without saying goodbye. Well then, goodbye. I suppose you feel I've used you. And I'm sorry if I have. I'm sorry about Haxby, about all of it. I assume this is a plea to stay my hand from punishment. But I warn you, I'd feel no guilt in exposing you. My job is to sell newspapers. Papa has suggested I go to New York to wait it out. So I'll be all right. I just didn't want our final words to be angry ones. I loved you, you know. More than you knew. And much, much more than you loved me. And I hope the next woman you love deserves you more than I did. And don't worry about Haxby. I'll sell it at a profit. I usually do.